coming here there will be a first after some nine decades plus <coughs> where there will be no railway budget and it will be merged into the union budget. And it must be said to the credit uh, of the legacy that the British left behind that amongst uh, the few areas of industry or communication that they created was the Indian Railways. The road network was by and large ignored. Countries in Europe and uh, the United States uh, had developed an advanced highway and road network. In US that is used more than the railways itself. But we did develop at that time a fair amount of network of the railways and that became the principal uh, instrument of uh, travel and communication in India. And of course today the railways uh, though operated by the government is living in a competitive world. There is no competition within the railways because there is no alternative railway as you have in other parts of the country with which uh, the Indian Railways has to compete with. But you are now going to increasingly compete with other modes of communication. You have a highway sector which has developed in the last 15 years which is giving the railways a real run for its money. And in terms of passenger traffic now, with the airline network, and now with this renewed emphasis on regional airlines, which would also be partly subsidized by center and states in terms of revenue concessions and otherwise, even for travel purposes, the railway is going to face a big uh, competition. And the fact that people have now these two developed alternative modes, and I read today in the newspapers that despite the currency crunch in the month of November, the airline sector was still booming, which also shows the kind of competition uh, uh, it is giving uh, to the railways. And therefore, even though there is no competition within the railway network, there is competition that you have from the alternative modes of uh, travel and communication and transporting cargo. And therefore, unless both in performance as also in its internal management you are able to maintain the highest of standards, the dangers of losing out in competition will always be there. And the last few years, it has started reflecting on the pressure on your uh, earnings and accounts. Normally, people don't give up their turf so easily. But because of this pressure, this time the railways is over keen that the finance ministry takes over the railway budget itself. <laughs> because the uh, burden of supplementing what is lagged behind uh, really uh, becomes our problem. How do we convert this into an opportunity? I recollect, and this is on a lighter note, that uh, I have only got an opportunity once in the last two decades to speak on the railways in Parliament. ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा ये मेरा क्या कर लेंगे भाई? नहीं नहीं बताइए क्या कर लेंगे? अरे हम तो फकीर आदमी हैं, झोला लेके चल पड़ेंगे जी।